Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the header of this video, this video is an updated video on my life. Yes, I know I didn't come on to show you, tell you guys what exactly what was going on with my lifestyle, what I've been doing, how I've been doing it, what have I been up to, did I finish cosmetology school, how did cosmetology school go, did you get your license, how was the written, how was the practical, what are you doing, Ashley Lynn? First, I want to start off by saying, yes, your girl graduated from the cosmetology program last December of 2015. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys would know that I graduated, got my certificate, but I actually had to go back to school to finish my two classes to get my associates in cosmetology because being an international student, uh, and being in the program, you had to get your associate's degree. Did not you? Not you can't just get a certificate. To school. I'll be finishing school next week. I'll be graduating again with my degree in cosmetology. I have my associates in cosmetology. Ooh, ooh, and I'll be done with school to be forever. But your girl is finishing next week. She will be done with her associate degree in cosmetology this year, 2016. I did. I just was doing two classes. It was a speech class and it was a P class, which was excellent with my um, me wanting to get back and my healthy lifestyle about working on the stuff. So I was all for this class. I was all involved in this class and I really enjoyed the class because it pushed me to want to work out. It pushed me to um, get to my goals quicker than you know than what I probably would have done if I was doing it all Okay, so as you guys know, I attended the Chi. Lone Star North Harris Cosmetology Program here in Houston, Texas, in the Humble Spring area. If any of you guys are wondering or interested, and if I have any Houstonian um, subscribers that want to know the, the school that I went to, it was definitely interesting. Um, it was much more harder than I anticipated it to be. Like, you guys know, like, going to cosmetology school. I mean, when you think of cosmetology school, you don't really think about working so, so hard. But I definitely got a rude awakening when I was on my probably fifth month in. I was like, ooh, boy, going strong. Ooh, tired. Ooh, tired. School started from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day. Two breaks. You had break time. You had lunch time. Uh, you had hour. You had an hour lunch. You had 15 minutes. Two breaks. Two mini breaks and one full break. So yeah, so that was my life for the entire year. Last year of 2015, I did that up until January to December. That was my life. And as you guys know, being inconsistent with YouTube was a part of that because I was up and down, you know, up and down with my uploads. I started off strong, then I fall back because it started to get rough. I started to get overwhelmed. I started to feel the pressure of being in cosmetology school, and. No, and being in cosmetology school, you have to be around a lot of um, women. And me being, I'm an introvert slash, slash extrovert. Like when I want to be around company, I go out and I want to be around company. But when I don't want to be around company, I like to be by myself. I like to be by myself, quiet, uh, watching my own, watching my TV shows by myself, drinking my wine by myself. So I'm the type of person that extrovert at times, and sometimes I'm an introvert, which probably a lot of people can relate to that so that being said being having to be around a lot of people every day having to talk every day was definitely hard on me because I'm the type of person when I feel like talking I'll talk but when I don't feel like talking I don't feel like being bothered so that was an issue that was one of the issues that I had going to cosmetology school because I love people I love to talk to people but I like my I like to be from, to myself at times as well so that was one of the one of the issues that I had to deal with when going to cosmetology school. This being my future career, my police suck that up. But like actually, you know, you your attitude needs to change. Like trying to trying to get out of that, not wanting to talk to people certain days or wanting to talk to people certain. Days. Because I mean, it's nothing against the people or anything. It's just me personally. I had to deal with that. If you're any anything like me, like I just stated, and you're looking to. Um, do the career of cosmetology just know that it's going to be days where you don't feel like talking and there's nothing wrong with not feel like talking because you're around these you are around these people all day every day but in your profession when, when you get to start your career you're not going to be around your clients every day 
so your clients every day but you do have to know how to communicate when you do not feel like being bothered because even though you're not going to be seeing the same clients every day but you're going to have to deal with clients every day and have to conversate with them every day have to have the you know the upbeat spirits that they want you to have you know because when they come in your chair they want you want them to feel welcome you want them to feel comfortable so yeah that's definitely something that i had to learn personally and yeah the thing that i learned by being in cosmetology school is that perfectionist and that's one of the things that I had to put uh, up and tell on in my eighth month in cosmetology school like I'm a perfectionist I used to be the girl that still be cutting the hair or I used to be the girl that's still styling hair because I'm trying to perfect every little detail and the thing is being in cosmetology school you just need to get the skill down pat you don't need to perfect it right now that's what I had to learn because I would always complain to my sisters and my mom and my friends I'm like oh my god I'm not getting this or you know I'm taking so long like the last person to finish probably on my ninth month I was like you know actually just do what you have to do and graduate and get this thing is all you need is a good grade pass and go do what you have. don't don't try to sit there and try to perfect every little thing because when you go out there in the real world you have more time to you know perfect your skill to, to you know to get your techniques that you you always get each, take each technique from everything that you've learned you're going to bring it into one and that's what's going to make you a really good hairstylist so don't try to perfect each little technique because you're going to switch it around when you get out of there anyway so yeah that's one thing that i had to learn being in cosmetology school that um, i mean i've learned that i was a perfectionist that i had to that's something that I don't want to be because being a perfectionist, um, it it takes away from your time. Like it make it take you take too much time on one hair, and time is money. And being a cosmetologist, that like, you have to have at least 10, 20 clients in your chair so you could make good money. So yeah. And another thing that I've learned that I don't really like to follow. I don't like. To, I do not like to be a follower. I hate being a follower. I like to be a leader and um, I've always been that way. Like, I noticed that my teachers, like, it's like, in cosmetology school, as you guys know, I'm 24 years old. And um, we have teachers who are probably around our same set. And then we have teachers that are older. And we have classmates that are on our same set of classmates that are younger, you know. But I noticed that I really do not like to be told what to do especially if you say it in a certain way or if you rub me the wrong way or if I feel as though you're playing that card like oh I'm the boss I'm the leader type type thing I do not like that and I felt and that being in cosmetology school I had to take the role of you know I had to try to take the role of actually you're in school the teacher the professor knows what she's saying knows what she's doing but yet I still had issues so I have definitely something that I had to learn like you actually cannot be a leader all the time well some instances some instances I was the, was the leader because some things wasn't right like some things would go down and I just thought it wasn't fair so I was that person like no I don't think that's fair blah, blah, blah. yeah <laughs> another thing that I've learned being in cosmetology school is that I love to do hair I really really love doing it even I went into cosmetology school wanting to learn like wanted to learn because I had no idea what I was doing when I started doing hair because if you're from the Bahamas if you follow me for great for have been following you guys know I started doing hair a year like two years ago now and I didn't have no experience doing hair I even hated my I hated doing my own hair when I was small so everybody look at me like actually you're you're gonna be a cosmetologist like how is that even possible so so that being said, I went to school so I could learn all the skills that is going to make me great and make me be the best cosmetologist out there because I want to be, I want to be celebrity to the stars. Hopefully one day that will happen because your dreams are only as big as you want them to be because you could dream, dream huge, dream big, you'll never limit yourself to anything. Like I want to own my own product line, as you guys know I'm in the works of that, I want to be a celebrity hairstylist. I want to be, I'm a social influencer, I want to have my own workshops, I want to do it all. And I, this is just one of the stepping stones that I know I needed to take in order to make my career, get my goals to where I need them to go. So, 
went to Corpus Coach School, wanted to learn everything I had to need to know about hair, because I come on YouTube doing my hair, but I don't really didn't really know the science of hair. So I'm the type of person I want to have I want to have all the education I can have behind my back. So when I talk to you guys and tell you guys about certain stuff, you guys know that I'm talking truth and sense and what's in the book and what's written in the book of hair because I went to cosmetology school. The conclusion of going to cosmetology school has, it has definitely been an extremely, I am extremely blessed and extremely grateful for the opportunity that I had to go to cosmetology school. My parents are awesome, my family are awesome, they are awesome people that are in my corner that have been there for me. So I'm just extremely grateful and extremely blessed. And I am extremely grateful and blessed with you guys because without being on YouTube or without actually going through this natural hair journey, I would have never known that I loved doing hair. Without you guys asking me questions or without you guys wanting to know what I have to say about certain topics or certain products or anything, you know, I would have never known that I had a passion, I actually had a passion and I actually could be my career for the rest of my life. So I'm extremely happy, extremely grateful for the opportunities that I've had because of you guys, for my family, it's just, you guys just being totally awesome, putting me, actually guiding me to the right path without you guys even knowing it, you know. But um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about my cosmetology career. I'll have my school information down below if you're interested in it. I'll put it down in the description box because I know I had a really lovely young lady ask me for my cosmetology. Um, I had a few people ask me about my cosmetology, um, you know, journey and what, uh, how I thought of it or, you know, whatnot. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for when you guys are choosing your cosmetology. Um, schools make sure you go to a school that people are helping willing to that teach my you. school oh yeah another thing I could say about my cosmetology school that I went to I have a few teachers that were so awesome like they taught us everything that they knew and I was one of the students that would ask okay what how do you do this or what do you do if this if this situation was come up and I must say they were so hands-on and they didn't mind us all the questions that we had because they know that we need all the answers that they can give us because they're the MVPs, they're the real MVPs on their journeys, on their um, careers. So yeah, definitely when you when you want to search for a cosmetology school, definitely look up, go on Google, look for the best school who has the best mission statement. Just go on their social media, it's fine if they're involved in their community or see if they have, um, app, because they, at my school we had they would do little um, events for the community where you come in and get a free blow dry, get a free haircut, get a free shampoo, you know, so make sure you go to those schools that are going, that are going to give you the experience while you're in school and not just get the experience when you're out of school because those are the things that make you, like, makes you, okay, who, okay, I got this event to go to, I have this event at school today, I'm going to do a free hair, you're going to be nervous. But it's going to build you, it's going to build your confidence and that's what I loved about school. It definitely allowed us opportunities to, you know, build our confidence. And we had, we had actually, we did two events. We went to a pageant, a really big Kinsanera pageant here in Houston. I have a blog about it. If you guys would like to check out that blog, I'll have that in the description box as well. And um, we also went to um, one, of the, one of the biggest professional hair shows where all the professional brands are in one building, professional brands with hair shows. And as you guys know, I was a part of the Chi model for our student team, which is such a, an amazing opportunity that I would have never thought I would have ever been to do at all. So I've made a lot of good connections as well, being in the, being around the Chi space. I now have a guess I could say a, who she's actually a friend of mine, the international distributor for the Chi brand that sells to all the family to, to sells to all the in, in, sells to all the Caribbean countries, the Caribbean international distributor for Chi. And I made networks with her, and I must say she she's a friend of mine, which which I would have never thought that I would have gotten an opportunity to meet people and actually connect with them and actually, you know, future-wise, you know? So yeah, definitely when you're trying to find a school, look for if they're involved in the community, if they have extra classes to learn from the professionals. Our school also offered professional classes from Chi educators that have been in the industry for years 
the chi, you know, the chi team is a part of the Miss U Universe, Miss Universe pageant. So we got to get hands-on training from those people, which was so freaking amazing. Just wanted to come on to end this video. My old my other clips of this video got deleted somehow. I don't know where. I probably missed and deleted it. Didn't know that I was deleting the actual video. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them down below. I had such a great time in cosmetology school. It was hard, but it was so worth it because now I have a career that I always dreamed of so yeah so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys yep so that's the end of this video if you guys would like to check out my previous videos definitely click those links right there and don't forget to follow me on all my social media panels and don't forget to subscribe I'll talk to you guys later bye guys